And welcome back to my home, my kitchen, and my heart. This is Fast with the Flavors at. And listen, I mean, we've done, this is our fourth episode we're about to film today. We haven't done pasta yet. Uh, shame on me. So we're going to do a little uh, pasta dish uh, that speaks both to summer and to Italy and to, again, pasta. Uh, wonderful Italian uh, summer salad, or actually year-round, is the caprese salad, which is essentially tomatoes, mozzarella, and fresh basil. Here I have all three. Uh, we're going to add a couple other elements, though, and create a nice pasta dish from it. Basically what I call penne caprese. It starts with, well, let's start with pasta. So we've got our water boiling. We're going to salt our water generously. All right, you want your water to taste like the ocean. Those of us who've been in the ocean know what that, exactly what that tastes like. They're not so special, not so wonderful, but here it does a lot to cooking the pasta and making it right. So we'll go ahead and we'll add our penny. We're cooking about half an order, or you know, half of what I usually cook. So I'm going to put about half the pound of penne in here. This takes about 10 minutes to cook. I'll probably pull it. Uh, about eight or nine minutes because it's going to finish off in the pan. While that's cooking, I roast my tomatoes. So I'm going to push to take the basil to the side. I'm going to push the mozzarella off to the side. What I've done is I've taken wonderful uh, cherry tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes, yellow, red, orange. I've drizzled some Italian olive oil. I have hit it with some salt and pepper and I've put just a little chiffonade of fresh basil. And what I'll do is I'll just throw those on a sheet pan. And what I'll do is I will roast these at about 300 degrees and I'm roast. Oops, no, that's it. 300 degrees. We'll put these in. Whoa. And again, thanks to the magic of TV, these have been roasting already. So what I've got is a nice sort of concentration of flavor here that the tomatoes have roasted nicely. You can see they've almost dried a little bit, but a lot of flavor from the olive oil, the soft, and the basil, all right? Generous amount of olive oil. I'm gonna add about five cloves of garlic. Because you can't have too much garlic in a dish like this. There isn't any in the tomatoes ahead of time, so it's all going in right here. All right. Get a spatula. All right. Let me go ahead and move my macaroni around so nothing sticks. All right, so we'll start to cook off the garlic, get those wonderful aromas working. And the wonderful thing about parchment paper is you can just throw it right in like so. Right. And do you have the open bottle of rosé? Can I have it please? All right, so again, you've roasted tomatoes, they're essentially cooked nicely, but you're just gonna go ahead and work them into the pan let whatever juice is left in them release from the tomatoes and start to create something of a sauce. I'm gonna hit it with a little white wine, uh, in this case, rosé wine. We're making an Italian dish with a French rosé. Go figure. We are the world, we are the children. All right. We're gonna add a little salt to this. Ba -ba. I'll add a little crushed red pepper. Always like I said, a little bit of heat. All right. We'll let the pasta cook. It should take another five minutes for the pasta to be done. We'll drain it. We'll throw it into the tomatoes. We'll turn the heat off. And then what I like to do is add the mozzarella, the basil, and another element that's not typical of a caprese salad, but something that is near and dear to my heart, and many of you out there, is some wonderful prosciutto di parma we'll add just to add another dimension of flavor to the dish. Come back in about five minutes and we'll put the whole thing together. See you soon. All right, and we're back. Our pasta has been cooked. I've strained the water out. I've kept a little bit in because this little pasta water is part of any good pasta dish. 
We're gonna go ahead and add that to the tomatoes. We're gonna work it in. I've turned the heat off on the tomatoes. This is a dish I think that actually is best at room temperature, so we're gonna kinda of let it, as we toss it a little bit, we'll get the temperature and the heat to temper down a little bit. Um, kinda of want the mozzarella to just be soft in the dish. You don't want it to completely turn into a goopy mess. Want the vibrance of the flavors, the freshness of the mozzarella to come through. So just like you would uh, a, a caprese salad. So that's done. So let's go ahead and we'll take our fresh mozzarella ball. Thank you, Gabani. Uh, and we'll just sort of gently break this by hand and work it into the dish. So to shred it, I typically will avoid using a blade wherever I can, especially when it comes to fresh herbs. Uh, you'll find when we add the basil that that has been torn by hand. I just prefer that as opposed to putting a metal blade to it. So again, you'll get a soft melt on this, but nothing too substantial. We'll keep it fresh and lively. And then we'll just break that all off. Set that there. Here I have my freshly torn basil. I'll throw that in. Just gently rain down with your fresh basil. And again, we'll mix it in, we'll toss. Keeping it as lively and bright as possible. Just a nice, light summer pasta dish. That's it, that's pretty much as simple as that. We'll plate up. Let's set that there. Get a nice spoon. Okay. I'll go ahead, I'm gonna just sort of uh, drape a little fresh, some prosciutto here. People don't like the prosciutto, they could push it off to the side. And it's as simple as that. Penny caprese with mozzarella, oven roasted tomatoes, and that's it. Again, light, fresh flavors, something you could actually, a pasta dish that you could enjoy during the summertime. Okay. Okay, good. All right. That'll be supper for later. I love pasta. Good, thank you. But you not so much, I still can't get over that. So that's another episode of Fast Where the Flavor's At. Can't thank you enough, as I always say, and it's from the heart. Uh, this whole of, uh, series of shows, it's just an expression of my heart to you and how much I enjoy cooking for people I love, family and friends. Uh, pasta Caprese was a dish, people seem to be enjoying it. Uh, we actually paired this up with my French Rosé, uh, Lion in the Lily, 100% Merlot, beautiful from, uh, from Bordeaux. Um, nice pairing, speaks again very, very well to the summer season. Uh, a dish that you can serve hot, but you can also serve room temperature or even slightly cool. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, next episode up, we've got a very special guest chef that I'm anxious to introduce to y'all. And we'll do that when we boot up again for the next episode. Until then, thanks very much. God bless you all. I love you. See you next time. Thank you.